What's up, Sucha Nation? It's a girl, Sucha, a buddy that's back with another banger. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. What's up, Sucha Nation? It's a girl, Sucha, a buddy that's back with another banger. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning back in. And if you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe and also press the like button until it turns blue so you know you're part of the Sucha Nation. Oh. You guys a happy happy new year Sikha nation and i wish this um and i hope this is a very prosperous year for you all of you guys and i wish you nothing but the best may this okay guys so as you can see by the title today i'll be giving you tips as to how to manifest something along those lines i'm still thinking of the title but you can see the title is something along the lines of manifesting i get it. so um i really don't want to take time with this yeah so without further ado let's get into the video okay guys so tip number one is be clear about what you want so actually think about what you want evaluate give it some thoughts do not rush it so that you are clear and your plan works out the way you want it to and think of what you want and actually create a plan and be sure and certain of what you want before you make the move of reaching or aiming towards um, the, um reaching that goal number two is quite similar to number one and it says figure out how what you want makes you feel um, and I feel like this is a good one because you have to think of how it's going to also affect you when you've made the decision of what you want and how it's, is it going to have a good impact or a bad impact towards you? And is it, so I feel like that would be a very wise decision to actually think about what you want before and how it makes you feel before actually making the first move as to, um, moving forward. Oh, and by the way, I'm using this phone, so I wrote, there's a list of what um, I wanted to say, so I, I don't forget. Number three says, create a plan and stick to it. Now, with this being said, I know sticking to something is really hard for us as teenagers and things like that, and as the youth, because we have come across finding it difficult to multitask or actually creating a routine that you can stick to or whatever it is that you're doing and it doesn't have to necessarily be inclined with manifesting you get what i mean it's just like with anything be it your work be it going to the gym we all fix that one let's not even get it started but we find it really hard to stick to one thing and make a plan and how we're gonna move forward with what we want to do you get what i mean and I feel like this is something we all need to work on because the, nobody's perfect at things. Okay, maybe you're good at things, but like, you know what I mean. Yeah. Number four is practice gratitude and radical kindness. With this being said, to me, it basically gives me the idea of what you give is what you get. So you can't have a negative mindset and expect everything else to work out for you. You get what I mean? To have these kind of things work out, f damn, I smell good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, but uh, <laughs> but um, I feel like it's a thing of what you give is what you get. So you have to give out what you want to earn, you know, because like it's a thing of also energy never lies energy will never lie and you have to this way when you tell your mind something instantly that idea is gonna stick into your mind and if it's a negative thought obviously it's gonna prevent you from doing what you want and now your mind is so used to you having this negative thought that you won't do whatever you want to do anymore you get what i mean so I feel like it, it, it's a thing of you have to put your mind to it before you do it physically, you know, and 
it's also how you react your energy towards whatever you want to do if you're going to be lazy obviously nothing is going to work out for you and you it's not rocket science it's not going to work out for you 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 cannot force things you know so um i feel like just put your mind to it in a positive way and uh radiate good energy and good energy would also come back to you is raise your vibration so with this it gives me the idea of be loud and adamant about what you do be positive and actually work towards what you want to do because i feel like okay i'll talk this talk about this as a at the end as a whole so if if you're loud about what you want to do it will actually make sense and there's a higher chance of it happening and you getting things done that's like the simplest way i can put i can six is trust the process now with this it's a thing of patience and i'm not even gonna lie i'm one person that does not have patience at all and you know i i uh i get easily frustrated like i want things to happen like this like why are you wasting my time but at the same time i i do get the thoughts as to like listen it's not your time and i feel like we all need to understand that we all have our times and they will come it's like popcorn are all put in the same pot but they all don't pop at the same time that's what i'm trying to say they are all put in the same pot but they do not pop at the same time same thing with this you have to understand that you're not like someone else and you will never be like someone else so understanding that your time has not come and that god has put a set a, a, a different time for you that don't we all don't have our big breakthrough at the same time so for this i feel like it's a thing of patience you just have to be patient and your time will come because we were not all destined for the same thing so obviously they won't all happen at the same time and you you cannot compare yourself to anyone else because you are not them and they are not you simple it's it's a simple number effect. seven is don't be afraid to receive and acknowledge signs from the universe so this is for i would say this is for people that believe in angel numbers i do believe in angel numbers and um okay for those that don't know angel numbers it's a thing of if you see like 777 if you see um 111 like continuously like maybe twice or three times like to me that's a sign and angel numbers have different meanings so to me those are yeah signs basically and with this being said i feel like um this is what this message connotates it's sort of a thing of if you if you see if you see or think that something's directed to you then go for it like only the sky is the limit honestly speaking and i feel like it's in your hands you know so just if you feel like oh my gosh i keep saying if you feel like it and then the final 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 thing that i wanted to say to you guys is pray prayer helps guys trust me even though you feel like the process is slow one day you will realize that damn this is what i prayed for you know and i feel like there's so much power and peace in praying like and i'm not gonna lie and say i do it every day no i do it sometimes you know but i feel like it's worth it even if it's not every day just do it prayer really helps and i'm really trying to um grow myself and my relationship with god that um i try to pray every day i try but even though i can't every time every chance i get i make sure that i do so i hope my two cents Nina, advice kind of helped but um yeah this was just something i felt like it was good for me to start the year on um yeah because i know procrastination is such a huge factor in in our society that we do it a lot and i feel like with this um video it can help one person watching this video who knows but um if you want to include anything please be sure to comment down below and yeah thank you for watching if you've come this far please do not forget to like comment and also subscribe and stay tuned for more lit content Mwah.